Hi, I'm Suzanne Hogan. I'm currently the chair of the Drug-Free Queen Anne's Coalition, and today we're going to be talking about substance abuse prevention efforts here in Queen Anne's County, as well as um, regionally and in some of our neighboring communities. And with us today is Kathy Wright. Kathy, can you tell us a little bit about you, what you do, uh, who you work with, and introduce us to the coalition? Sure, I'd be glad to. I'm Kathy Wright. I've been with the county approximately 30 years between treatment of alcoholics and addicts and the last nine-ish years working in the prevention realm. Um, the Drug-Free Coalition was established approximately 10 years ago. Uh, we had received a drug-free community grant back then, mm -hmm. and that helped us with the efforts in the community. We lost that grant. We, you know, it was a five-year grant, and when it was over, we didn't get any more funding. So the coalition sustained itself for, oh, three or four more years mm -hmm. before we got some strategic prevention framework funding from the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Administration. Um, Who's on, the co who's on the coalition and uh, how does it work? On the coalition we have the, about 12 or 13 volunteers from the community, um, men and w both men and women. We have a couple college students on the coalition. We also have youth that are involved in teen court that's part of the coalition. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the teens there are from ages 12 to 17. We have uh, a representative from the Board of Education Juvenile Services, the Sheriff's Office, the mm -hmm. Maryland State Police, and business owners in mm -hmm. the community, and uh, other folks mm -hmm. um, that are actively involved in the coalition efforts. Mm -hmm. The coalition's efforts at the moment are currently focused on mostly alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the kids start out smoking tobacco and or drinking before they go on to more difficult drugs, mm -hmm. marijuana, cocaine, heroin, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to re re delay the onset of drinking mm -hmm. among adolescents in Queen Anne's County. Mm -hmm. And we hope to do that with this Be the Wall campaign. Mm -hmm. Now I know that um, we've, while we've been talking there have been some images flashing behind us, mm -hmm. one of which I believe was the Tri-County Prevention Project. Um, logo. What is, what is the, the Tri-County Prevention Project um, and, and what is it all about? The Tri-County Prevention Project was formed a few years ago when the prevention coordinator in Kent County and Caroline County and myself got together and decided we d didn't have very much money. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought the same message should be going across our borders to mm -hmm. the, the, the children in the communities as well as the adults in the communities and we thought through a united effort mm -hmm. we may get more attention and have mm -hmm. people paying attention mm -hmm. to the messaging that we're sending out mm -hmm. and we chose the Be the Wall campaign to focus on the adults in the community mm -hmm. um, not just parents grandparents neighbors people that don't have children but they're adults mm -hmm. um, young adults uh, that, that are living in the community working in the community, et cetera, uh, retailers that sell alcohol, mm -hmm. be it at a restaurant or, or, or uh, a liquor store. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to focus on all of them to get them to be the wall between our teens and alcohol. Mm -hmm. We want to delay the onset of underage drinking mm -hmm. and hopefully push the age out until kids aren't drinking until they're at least 21 when uh, their f brain is more developed. Mm -hmm. The brain doesn't fully develop until kids are about 25 years old. Mm. So we really want to stop underage drinking. Mm. Well, the, um, I, I know that um, there was a, the big billboard in Queen Anne's County along 301. Um, I think there were maybe one or two others. And uh, I mean, that, that big one on 301 was very impactful. I mean, what what has the community's response so far been to the Be The Wall um, message that's been out there so far? What I'm hearing from the community is they really like it. Mm -hmm. They think the message is good. They think it's about time we do something about underage drinking in mm -hmm. the community. Um, they've asked how they could get involved. More people have gotten involved in the coalition mm -hmm. as a result of that, either directly or indirectly. Um, 
more people are talking to their kids about drinking mm -hmm. now. Uh, the billboards, it was a good way to get the community exposed to this campaign. Mm -hmm. we've, we've done quite a few ads in newspapers mm -hmm. and articles in newspapers, and you'll be seeing a lot more through the next couple months and then mm -hmm. into the next fiscal year as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're working together to stop the underage drinking mm -hmm. and um, we'll have law enforcement doing saturation patrols. Mm -hmm. They know where all the underage drinking parties are going on mm -hmm. and at what restaurants are selling alcohol to minors mm -hmm. and at what retailers are selling alcohol to minors. So there'll be alcohol compliance checks as well to make sure that retailers card individuals to make sure they're of legal age to purchase alcohol. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement's also looking at adults that are furnishing alcohol to minors. Um, That's the social hosting. The ho social hosting, hosting. you're mm -hmm. right. Social hosting. I, I, a lot of people don't know that the law changed a couple years ago. But if you're caught as an adult with children in your house drinking, mm -hmm. the first fine per adult in the home is $2,500 a piece. $2, first offense. A piece. A piece. <laughs> 2,500. Right. Yeah. And then it's 500 for every child that is drinking in your home. Mm -hmm. So if you have 50 kids, you do the math. Right. If you're, if you're caught the second time social hosting, the fine is $5,000 per adult in the house. And again, 500 per child that's mm -hmm. under the age of 21 that is drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing another training this year with law enforcement on how to break up underage drinking parties. Mm -hmm. We've done a two other trainings in the past 10, 10 years through mm -hmm. the coalition on how to disperse underage drinking parties. Uh, so our law enforcement is working really hard. Uh, they don't want to see kids getting harmed, getting um, sexually assaulted, right. uh, overdosing on alcohol, mm -hmm. and, uh, and especially moving on to other drugs. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think that it sounds like, um, I get that that seems very consistent with the this be the wall message here. But I noticed when we sat down that there was a, we had a different message, I think which is behind me about be clear, be firm, be consistent. What is that exactly? Because that one's not quite as, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this- Not as clear? Not, not quite as clear. So uh, what is be clear, be firm, be consistent? That, that part of the campaign is be clear with your children before they're old enough to start drinking. Set the boundaries. Sit down with your child, both parents sit down with the child, and decide what the consequences are going to be if they choose to drink. Mm -hmm. Know ahead of time what the rules are. Will you be grounded for a week? Will you lose your cell phone? Will you not be able to go to friends' houses? What, what are going to be the consequences if they choose to drink? So mm -hmm. everybody knows what they are. So there's not a heated argument later on. Mm -hmm. You know the rules. Here's the boundaries. We're being real clear about it. Mm -hmm. We all know what the consequences are. Mm -hmm. Our being firm means doing that, mm -hmm. setting the boundaries, being a role model. Mm -hmm. You know, don't go out drinking and then get in the car and drive and say it's okay because you're an adult. Mm -hmm. You know, be firm about it and and be a good role model for your children. Mm -hmm. um, designate a driver. There's nothing wrong with an adult having a drink with dinner. Mm -hmm. um, model good drinking behavior so mm -hmm. that when your child is 21, then they can drink socially. Mm -hmm. um, be consistent. Apply the rules consistently. Don't say, well, you know, it's the 4th of July, mm -hmm. or it's spring break, mm -hmm. or it's winter break, or oh, it's prom and graduation. Mm -hmm. A few beers and a few wine coolers won't hurt. We'll just take the keys away. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is be consistent. Send the no use message. Mm -hmm. It's not okay for you to drink. It's illegal. You're under the age of 21 and it's unacceptable. And that's what's be firm, be clear, be consistent is mostly about. Well, thank you. That helps. I think that hopefully some of our viewers who might not have been able to you know, operationalize what this was mm -hmm. about will will have a little better sense of how they might use be clear, be firm, be consistent in addition to being the wall between kids and alcohol. Um, if community members wanted to find out a little bit more or get in touch or get involved with the coalition, what would be the best way for them to do that? Call me at 410-758-1306, extension 304, mm -hmm. or you can e email me at kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, 
dot right w r i g h t mm -hmm. at maryland m a r y l a n d dot gov, okay. and I'll get right back to you. We'd love to have you get involved. Uh, is the is the coalition represented on social media, uh, Facebook, the web, anything like that? At the at the moment, we have a Facebook page. Um, some of the coalition members are working with us, and we hope to get a web page running mm -hmm. up next year. If you go to www.bethewall in Florida, mm -hmm. Maryland, Queen Anne's County, and the other two counties, Kent and Caroline County, have some information on their website that you could see there as well. Okay. Um, so we're working on it. It's a okay. slow process, but we have coalition members that know a lot about web development that are going to help us. And we're really grateful to QAC TV for helping us get this message out in the community mm -hmm. and to all the coalition members that work mm -hmm. diligently to try to stop underage drinking to keep our kids safe. Great. Thanks so much, Kathy. And, and thank you to our community for staying with us and watching this message about um, being the wall between teens and alcohol. Thank you. Thank you.